today we got us a no cooling call set to 74 and it's 76 inside so it's definitely not working set to cool the inside is on inside's running let me check the breaker maybe the outside isn't due to the breaker how you guys doing with the old corona man y'all hunkered down I'm still out here going, baby. Running W.O.'s, knocking W.O.'s out left and right. Uh, breakers look good. Let me go check. Check and see why the outside unit's not coming on. Yeah, this is the unit here. Nothing is running. Man, why do people let their dog mess over by the AC units? Y'all have to deal with this. All right, I'm gonna pop the cover and see what's going on. Hopefully it's an easy fix, capacitor. Well, as you can see, the contactor is not making, so I don't have 24 volts. And let's check refrigerant real quick. If it's slap empty on refrigerant, then it's not gonna come on. It's a heat pump. Goodman heat pump. Yeah, it's low on refrigerant. I mean, it's barely got anything in there. We got us a leaker. All right, so I threw the old gauge on the on the low side, and as you can see, zero, pretty much zero. That's why the outside unit's not coming on. It's kicked off, and the the low pressure switch has it kicked off. So that's why it's not getting 24 volts to the contactor. This is a heat pump, so it's the end of the day, so I'm not gonna be able to fix a leak. So I'm just gonna have to do the old gas and go until I can come back and do the leak check and fix the leak. But to get them going again, just gonna have to fill it up and let it kick on then. You'll see the unit kick on here in a minute. Probably going to be a little delay. There it goes. That's all it was. She just needs some juice. I'm not going to get too crazy about a superheat or anything because it's just going to leak back out. I'm going to do a leak check. Alright, the unit is running again. I'm going to leave them about right there. I'm not worried about a superheat because it's just going to leak back out. We're going to do a leak check. This is just an end of the day temporary fix so I'll get them cooling through the night. It's the end of the day so I don't have time to break out the torches and leave room for in case a problem happens. So I'm just going to leave them here for, the, for tonight and come back tomorrow morning when I got a full, full day. It must be the old Corona skid. I went straight negative. Went straight into the coil, started searching around, didn't find anything. Uh, let me grab the leak detector here. Leaky Schrader valve. Hallelujah, Poot. Easy skid. You can hear it hissing. Easy fix. All right, skid, we're gonna get it out with this. I recommend this for you new guys. Get you one. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Have it delivered to your house. It just grabs the Schrader valve and then twists it out for you. Then you pop the new one in and then you put it back through and screw it back down. tight man I can't get it in there good oh, all right I think I got it skid nasty
Well, just blew the uh, blew the valve core out. And here's my new valve core going back in. Now you can have the unit running, man. The high side will be a little easier, but I'll just put some butt into it. Put a little more butt into it than usual, but if you got it running with the high side one, then it's a little easier. go not so easy fix on this one it's usually a really easy fix but this one fought me skid didn't give up the fight I'm just kind of disappointed in myself that I went straight straight negative negative straight negativo went right up to the coil now we can test it with bubbles. No bubbles, no troubles. Got bubbles on it. I don't hear it hissing anymore. It was hissing pretty bad. I don't see any, any bubbling. No bubbling, we're good. I'm gonna check the low side. Low side's looking good, no bubbles. The way this thing fought me, I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm gonna let it ride. All right, 56 degree line temp. Got some good sweat on it. 56 minus 42. Equals a 14 degree superheat. I'll take it for now. It's not peak season. It's about uh, 77 outside. It hasn't hit the old Florida 100 yet. So yeah, that's it. It's good, bro. Just just no leaky Schrader valve. And uh, I went straight negative, man. When it's slap empty, I go right for the coil. I go right to coil leak, but it only it was only a doggone Schrader valve. It might might be the old Corona skid, bro. I'm just going straight negativo. But uh, that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next video. She's cooling. Good to go. Blowing out 50 degrees upstairs. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.